Hey guys, so um, this video is late because I didn't get a chance to do it because um, I did do it but it was out of tune, um, out, the voice wasn't, you know, when I talked it wasn't my voice, it was really slow and mugged up. For some reason maybe my iPod has too many things on it or something. And then this morning I went for a job interview so I haven't had the time to do it. Anyway, so this uh, topic is not really one topic, it's kind of like a tree and it's going to go off into different branches. Um, it's like how I found Wicca, why I stayed into Wicca. Um, you know, where I was before and so on like that. I'm going to start right at the beginning and I'm going to go to the end. Okay, so we've kind of talked about this before um, in our introduction videos, but, um, you know, I'm going over it again. My story is not fascinating. It's not, wow, really interesting. Um, I wasn't brought up in Wick or anything like that, but it's my story, so I like it. <laughs> okay, so basically at the start, I was never really too religious. My family never has been. I went to church on um, Sundays, when I was younger, like nine, I also was christened. I also went to an all-Christianity school, which was my first school, but that was only because we had been told it was a good school, not for religious purposes whatsoever. But obviously, when you're brought up in something, as in, yeah, I wasn't brought up in it, but I went to the school, so, you know, all of them people, quite a lot of them were Christians, so they talked about what happened. Obviously, I went to church, I was, I was, told about God and Jesus and that obviously was in my head that was what I you know kind of believed in because well you know if you're brought up in learning something you kind of believe it um now I didn't really believe so much strongly as many of the people did um but I did believe in hell and the devil and if you did something bad you would go to hell if you know um you didn't pray or go to church, you would go to hell. So if I did not go to church, I would pray so that I didn't, you know, go to hell. And also, the one I feel most stupid about, um, obviously there's people out there who still believe this, there's a lot of people who believe it, but I feel stupid because now I cast myself as a pagan and I feel ridiculous believing it, um, is that if you dabbled in witchcraft one little bit, you would go to hell. Um, obviously I don't believe that anymore. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my life at the start, you know, but I didn't really focus on it too much. But when I left my first school, I barely ever, you know, even thought about religion. I kind of, um, I would pray sometimes, but that's about it. Um, I just didn't focus on it. I had heard about witchcraft and, you know, bits and bobs. We'd been talking about it. Um, I had with a teacher. And that was it, really. Um, I'd heard about Wicca, the term Wicca, and I knew what Wicca was, and so on like that. But I never was really, you know, interested into it. Um, until a few years back, when I found a book at my cousin's house, and it was the Wicca handbook. I read that book, I fell in love with it. Um, it's my favourite book still. I really found, felt connected to that book. I thought, I believe that I was kind of, like, brought to it, because it was just such, you know, a wow. I just, when I was reading it, I was like, wow. Um, so yeah, I read the book and from that moment on, I was really interested in Wicca. Um, so as soon as I got home from my cousin's house, I went onto the computer and I sat there for about two days. Not exactly, you know, sat there the whole time, but you know, sat there um, for like two days researching up about Wicca on the internet. Um, I read as much as I could. I took so many notes. Um, and then I had the idea to go on YouTube. I wasn't a real big YouTuber. I, get, I used to go on there just to watch like fan videos for things I like. Um, but then I actually thought, oh, that's a good idea. And I typed in Wicca for beginners and I found some really good videos. Um, and it helped me a lot more. And I did for a long time just, you know, use the internet, read books. Um, I focused on, you know, I don't know what other people did. But obviously, if you have no one to talk to about it, I, did, I had no one, you know, I learn everything myself. So. The things that really stood out to me were like, um, what element was I? I really thought that was really important and like what my magical name was and so on. Um, and like the Book of Shadows, I would always, I really wanted to do a Book of Shadows. Um, them things kind of just stood out to me and I thought, you know, you put them on top of the list as in the most important and so on. Um, but obviously I knew nothing about it because I knew that that wasn't wrong, you know, I was reading books and they all of them were going on about the elements, all of them were going on about Book of Shadows. So that is why I thought they were really important, so I just started trying to do them, uh, like finding my element out, my magical name and so on. 
um, then I kind of got fed up with having no one to talk to um, because it was just hard being by myself you know books and the internet are fantastic um, and that's where I owe a lot to uh, a lot to you know especially obviously books everyone reads but but books but YouTube helped me the most but still I just got fed up with it not knowing anyone at all um, and I know if you're not telling anyone you know your best friend could be a Wiccan but obviously we don't tell her she's not gonna know that you are either um, but I didn't really tell anyone and I looked around for chat rooms and then I found Witch Fox and I signed up for that and I met some fantastic people on that um, two of them I'm still in contact with no one else I am but Witch Fox people find kind of old-fashioned to use I really liked it um, it was I met Hazel who's on this channel yay um, she helped me a lot I got to ask her questions and she would help me you know um, she'd been on the path a lot longer than me and she knew quite a lot and it was just like when I needed the help I would ask her a question not all the time but you know it was just someone to talk to mainly but I also you know found this girl um, and we talked for a long time and then we just stopped talking that's just the way it goes we didn't have a fight or anything we just stopped talking um, and then I also have um, another friend who is um, I'm very close with. Um, we call each other sisters. I talk to her a lot and I asked her questions and she helped me as well. Um, and she's very, you know, important to me, even though, you know, it's just a, we've just talked over email and Facebook and so on, but you know, it's just a great way to find people and it helped me a lot. And then I kind of, after that, a few months later, I just had the guts and I thought, hmm, let's just tell someone. So I told my sister, she was interested. She wanted to learn about Wicca. So I helped her. Um, she then classed herself as a Wiccan after a year or so, but then I don't really know what she's doing anymore. She's, um, yeah, we had, um, a, we have kind of a balancing relationship. Sometimes we're really good and sometimes we're like, don't talk to each other at all. Um, so, you know, sometimes I don't really know, um, uh, but anyway, yeah. And uh, then I told my youngest sister, me and my sister told her together, and she was really interested. She was like, oh, wow, that's really cool. But she, I thought she was a bit too young, you know, to really um, focus on it. And she was. She didn't really, you know, she thought it was cool, and she knew, so that was good. Um, but then these past few months, she's been really interested, and she's asked me to start teaching her some things. And I've been showing her my books, and I've been, sh she's been creating um, loads of notes and so on. It's really nice, you know, to spend time with your sister. Um, and she is pretty young still, um, she makes little jokes saying we're charmed because there's three of us, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, she can believe what she wants to believe and maybe, you know, when she th feels that she's ready, it will, you know, she'll learn even more and what she wants to be, she will be. Um, so yeah. And when I told my mum and my cousin, I haven't told my friends, really, my best friends, and obviously over here now, I have no friends, I mean face to face. Um, and then when obviously I find friends, I, I think I just tell them, you know, because it's it's not really hidden. If you come to my house, you do, you would definitely find out straight away. Um, and then I've changed these past few months. Um, I've classed myself, I class myself as an eclectic pagan now. I changed a lot because I wasn't really where I wanted to be with my path. Um, when I started the YouTube channel, I, th I thought I was where I wanted to be, but I wasn't. Uh, you know, I say that I'm going to do something and I don't like a plan or ritual and then I don't do it. And that was really, you know, hacking me off. So these um, past few months, I have completely changed. I did a ritual and I s kind of like started again. Not as in, obviously, I knew everything, you know, I've been for three years I've known anything but I kind of started again and I do like daily devotions I do meditation when I say I do I've done it a lot I've learned how to do it and it makes me feel really good and I've started doing rituals and celebrating the sabbath, sabbaths properly for what I believe um, I used to celebrate them but not as well as I wanted to and now I really go over the top and I, I just you know I have I really do feel that I'm in the place I want to be with my religion now with with my beliefs. I know some people don't call it a religion. Um, I don't know. If I'm trying to explain to someone, I usually say my religion is, yeah. Uh, that way they understand that, you know, I don't believe in a certain thing. Um, I haven't really had to worry too much with that because obviously my family's not really 
they don't really believe in anything. Um, my friends don't really believe in anything either. But, you know, there's just some people you don't want to tell. Some people you want to share it with, some people you don't. My friends are the type of people would, that would just probably think I was joking. And I know people say, oh, but they're your friends, you know, but, you know, now I've changed anyway. I've moved over here, so my friends are left in the UK. So I'm not going to really bother, probably, till later on, if, obviously, if I go back to the UK. Um, I think that's all I wanted to share with you. So yeah, where I am now, I'm in a better place than I was when I first started Wicca, and I'm so happy for that. Obviously, you know, you're not going to stop learning. I'm reading as many books as possible still, I research still, I find new things out sometimes, and I'm like, wow, I never knew that, and it's just great. Okay then, so yes, um, I hope you have a good rest of the week and a good weekend, um, and I will see you next Wednesday. Uh, sorry, this is late again.